What's up, people? Hotep Jesus. We back. This is not a uncomfortable conversation. This is not a sharp conversation. This is a very different type of conversation. Uh, for people that don't know, I've, you know, at least a decade of consulting experience. Uh, and you're going to see that tonight, I guess, live in person. So every Saturday I do this thing called the Mogul Summit. You can access that class at briansharp.co slash summit. Brian with the Y, sharp with the E, dot CO slash summit. And basically what we do is we go over business problems and, and how to take people from point A to point Z in their business. Um, and I'm the lead in that project. And uh, people pick my brain and they share thoughts amongst themselves. And what happened organically was a few of those members of this elite club of moguls have coalesced into a team and decided to launch a blog. And I thought what better way to kind of because it, it seemed like we were about to get into a situation where I was going to coach them um, on that project because I just love doing this. And I was like, yo, we should just turn this into a show, right? Or our coaching sessions, people get to watch live at least half of it, because after this live, we're going to do some private things that I'm, I can't allow people to see. But at least you'll see most of this conversation that we'll do with this team and then the rest will go private with. We'll probably do maybe 30 to 40 minutes here live and then maybe another 25 minutes offline. But you guys will get to uh, see how a project begins. I mean, there's nothing happening with this project yet. You're going to see it from start to finish to the first million dollars right here on my channel. Every Monday we're going to do this. So this is going to be really fucking dope um and you may recognize some of these faces and some face some faces you may not but i'd like to introduce to you the jean core team um i'm gonna let rita speak because she's gonna be the team lead on this but i'm just gonna introduce the people uh top left is uh anthony bailey young ambitious cat um chad y'all know chad y'all see the whole tap nation logo behind him chad is a is a home team favorite here uh, on on this channel, we got Rita. Rita in the bottom left hand corner, uh, a, a, a super duper professional in the world of retail business. And then we got my homie. I actually went to high school with this brother, uh, Jonesy, in the bottom right hand corner. The Jean Core team. And I think the best way to do is we're gonna let Rita talk and and sort of introduce this project. But the name Jean Core, the history behind that, why that name, so on and so forth. Rita. Welcome to my channel for the first time. I'm very excited about this. Tell us about how the Jean Corps project came together. First of all, thank you very much, Brian. Thank you for the opportunity. So it came about because I started um, in the Mogul Summit on the 4th of July. And um, I'd signed up and it was the 4th of July was the first, you know, the first month. And you said, entrepreneurs don't rest any day of the year. I'm going. And so that's when I started. And um, I had been furloughed from my position. I'd been picked up to work again, but um, with the COVID, and I thought, what a great opportunity for me to go into business for myself. And I had an idea. I was hedging on it because I could play it safe and be a business, you know, just work for somebody else. But I was, I thought this might be the right time. And I was really going to, the, I had no idea what the Mogul Summit was, but I was really going for either affirmation or for you to say, so then you're not a typical consultant. You, you know, everybody comes in, they introduce themselves, and then you pick us apart. And then uh, you said, what are you going to do? How are you going to do it? And then I started getting my answers. And I realized I did have this within me. And I started my plan for my small business coaching. What happened, though, is, of course, my business is centered around teaching other young people who want the opportunity to learn how to coach, having, you know, me, me creating a package and coaching them to have their own business through, you know, to be a business coach in an easy package. But um, the universe around us, small businesses are really struggling. And for them to invest in business coaching, it's a really hard sell, even for me, let alone for um, a new entrepreneur. Due to COVID. Due to COVID. So I thought, well, what other thing can I create? And I'm just looking at other opportunities, but I also be, because the Mogul Summit is a very eclectic, very talented group of people, all the way from, you know, DJs to, um, you know, podcasters like um, 
uh, Podfather, and uh, everybody. There's just it's an it's an amazing talented group. So you start following. We all start following each other, and um, I follow Ant, and I follow, of course, Chad. Everybody follows Chad. We all love Chad, but we all tease Chad. But Chad, Chad's the man. Believe me, he's so brilliant. But I listen to Jonesy on his pod or yeah, Pod Father Jonesy. <laughs> I don't know. What do you want me to call you, Pod? What do you want me to call you, Jonesy? This Jonesy is cool. So I'm I'll right. call Jonesy. Jonesy, so cool, so cool. So I just had this idea that um and i sent a dm to both chad and i'm sorry not chad chad wasn't in yet but to aunt and jonesy and said you guys interested in the blog i have a little bit of an idea that's where it started okay and they both said i said it's writing a blog um on specific topics that affect people um not the media topics but that affect people every single day because and writes about debt, his specialty, he's got a business about how to get college students out of debt, but he gave, um, offered us all his course and I took his course and I took, turned around and said, this could be offered to anybody, anyone with personal debt, anyone with business debt, all the you know fundamentals are in and he's got a really strong program. Yeah. So I thought of that for Ant also watching, looking at his website, he's got a beautiful aesthetic and he really knows how to take complex financial terms to a point where we can, you know, anyone can understand. Jonesy on the cultural side, he he has kind of this moral compass balance where he just calls it as he sees it, yet it's out from a, a place from kindness and also just um, honesty. So, and then, and then times he'll just say, I don't know either guys, it's messed up, just stay aware. So there's there's an honesty with that. And so that's what it started with, I said, Hey, why don't we write something together and we can reach out and help people at this time people are going to be suffering from debt people are are they have all this massive energy around them that's negative jonesy can help with that and then i could possibly help people who are working and um or have a business who are struggling that's how it started then we created an outline we talked back and forth a few times and then we got it to a point where we could present it we we're going to bring it to the mogul summit for you to tear apart for us and then for a uh, dear feedback. And then on that call, Chad said, Hey, if you guys ever need help, I can write some stuff. Um, I have a site and I, I can write some stuff about mental health. So just a little bit later that day or the next morning, I got in touch with aunt and Jonesy and said, that's it. That's, that's what our program is. Finance, culture, business and work and mental health. Mm. So then, and then the name Jean Cor is an anagram of the first initials of all our names. So J for Jonesy, I for Rita, A N for Ant, C H for Chad, and then O R Jonesy and Rita again. So it's Jean Cor. Jean Cor. Now I, mm-hmm. I, 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 we, you know, there's a certain philosophy I have with naming projects. For example, mm-hmm. if I were to create a a new blog about finance, I would call it the finance blog. There's so much power in naming your stuff in such a plain manner that people understand what the product is right away. So I'm very sometimes uh, Nazi-ish when it comes to that. But with this project, when she explained that to me and then the Jean Cor I thought there was some sort of prestige and exclusiveness because number one, it sounds like a lifestyle brand and it sounds very chic, but also it, it's going to create some sort of uh, private membership in the subconscious mind. And I'm saying that because some people are going to see the name and they're going to mispronounce it. GN Core, da, da. And only a certain people are going to know it's pronounced Jean Core. So you're going you're gonna to have the people on the inside are going to be correcting the other people about this product, the Jean Core project. So you folks that are watching right now, you're the first ones to know how to pronounce this, this superstar brand to be. So I just want to give you a little bit of background on the name. Is there anything else you about to say something? So, well, that's really how Jean Core came about. And I guess we can talk a little bit about what we're writing about and what the whole program is. Mm. But- um, okay, let's do a uh, 30 second intro. Chad, 30 <laughs> seconds is 30 seconds. 
<laughs> let's do. Gotta be like that. <laughs> Get your phone out. Get your phone out. Don't trip yeah, that ADD. Yeah. No, so, so. Let's do a quick thirty-second <laughs> intro. Right. We'll start with Chad. We'll go to Ant, and then we'll uh, end off with Jonesy. And um, Rita, did you uh, want to give a little bit more about your personal background as well, please? Uh, my Chad. personal background, Chad or Rita. Chat. Let's chat, go chat. Tell them how oh, I thought you were asking no, Rita. No, we're gonna have Rita. She's the lady, so okay. we're gonna have her cap it off at the end. Mm-hmm. Save the best oh, for gotcha, last. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yes. Yeah. So uh, I'm uh, I'm working in a field that has nothing to do with my college degree. That's for starters. That's terrifying to me because it means that if something happens where I lose this job, I'm living off the school of hard knocks and not my a degree that is in my field. Um, and I have actually like. I've never actually attempted suicide, but I have, I came this close to like driving into an overpass pillar and uh, like where I come from is I'm still here and there's a reason for that. Mm. And I want to give other people the reason for sticking around and seeing this thing through, because I think we have something amazing to offer to each other and uh, we just need to stick around to do it. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Tight, touching 30 seconds. I love it. And talk to me. What's up, guys? Um, basically, how I got involved in this journey. Tell them your age, because you're the you're the you're the, He's young, the baby. Yeah, you're <laughs> the baby here. <laughs> I'm 26, so right. I'm still relatively young compared to everybody else. But um, basically, I've been working jobs since I'm like 16 years old. You know, I've done a million different things. You know, uh, my father has a painting company, so I've been doing that. But you know, I've worked in corporate America as well, and pretty much decided I didn't want to go that route. Um, I was in there for about two years, but um, basically the reason I did that is because I wanted to do everything the quote unquote right way. Right. I went to college, got a degree, did everything, got the the job. And then I was pretty much miserable at my job. Um, But as we know, college debt is a huge, huge dilemma in the United States. You see it all the time on Twitter, social media, on the news, especially with these political candidates. So basically what I did, I was able to pay off my loans in one year, just like hustling and just being, you know, more like a lifestyle type of thing. Okay. So basically I just wanted to share my knowledge of, and my experiences on how I did that, because I know stories out there where people eliminate six figures of debt within one year just by making simple lifestyle changes, you know, and hustling. And I really think anybody could do that. So that's basically where my journey began because I want to help people, um, you know, basically understand finance a little bit better. That's why I started my website, financiallight.co to basically, you know, I I have my own blog um, on personal finance, how to, you know, make a little bit more money if you're struggling, how to manage your money better if you do make a lot of money. And, you know, just simple uh, lifestyle changes like that. But then once Rita invited me on this project, I pretty much was like, yeah, I'm down, you know. Nice. So, yeah. Beautiful. Jonesy. Yes, sir. My homie, tell the people a little bit about yourself. Well, you know, working corporate America. In the podcast. Definitely. uh, Working corporate America. You know, I'm a uh, landlord, property owner on a couple of properties, dad. And uh, I'm also the host of the Wasted Talent podcast. And, uh, you know, we got down on this project from us vibing inside of your group. And, uh, you know, I got into all of this because what I wanted to do was I wanted to make sure that we control the cool of our culture, you know, being Mm -hmm. black culture. We talk about this all the time, you know what I mean? And, And what has happened from what I see is that corporate America has taken our culture and perverted it. Mm. And there aren't enough people out there that are telling these kids what they need to hear, telling our culture what they need to hear. And that's why I got into all of this. So I feel like, you know, getting involved with this blog is another avenue to try to influence the culture and not just black culture, just America at at large, because, you know, right now we're being programmed and, you know, it's time for us to stand up and, 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 and put whatever message we feel needs to be out there, out there. Mm, mm. So that I mean, that's mostly why we all got in, in, involved, and you know, I I think I can see the greatness in this project, and uh, I, you know, I'm really excited. Yeah, I so uh, Rita, before you go, I just want to actually no, Rita, go. I'll, I'll go after. I'm sorry, that was my bad. Tell the people about I your just, professional career because your professional career is just like amazing. Well, it is, but that so what's really interesting is I always 
and if I get emotional, it's only it's it just from gratitude. But sometimes I'll tell a story, but it's it, emotional to me because it's kind of where people in life say, you know, well, it's about your identity. So, you know, so you can be a very professional person, but on the inside, it's not really who what you're destined to do. And so you mm -hmm. so I thought I all I wanted to do was own my own business. And so I worked really hard and I got the opportunity and I worked really hard for years and I achieved it. And when I got to the pinnacle and realized I was going to have to do this for 25 years, I realized I'm the type of person who wants to keep playing the game higher and higher. <clears throat> but there are some businesses, there's no more marketing because you're in an area that's saturated. You're always going to be trying to make a profit where this expense goes up. And it's no longer this dream of building. It's chain afloat until you're 65 and you sell it. Mm. So half the half of me said it's ridiculous. Just stay afloat because you'll have a life, right? Right. And the other half is it's you're insane. And every word around me would be you've worked so hard for this for everything you wanted. And and so there's a moment in life where you go, but it but it wasn't. You know, sometimes you think your dream is what one thing, but when you get to that dream, you go, this was somebody else's dream. I wasn't specific enough when I was 20 or 22. And then the risk to walk away and lose everything. And then to to lose everything, your reputation, you know, that kind of things, because it's ridiculous to normal people that you'd walk away. Right. Right. And it's 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 a failure to some people. Mm. But how do you shout out to people to go because 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 we're so we want to be so secure with ourselves. And if if all of a sudden you say, I'm I I put my you know daughter through college, I have a good life, I have a house in a safe neighborhood, why would you want more? Well, there's a part of people, a lot of people, <clears throat> that we suppress that I want more. It's not more money. I want to create more. Mm. And if I have the means and I have the network, and this is what Jean Cor is for me, I want the opportunity to help people. And that's why we're all together. Because if you listen, Jonesy wants to reach out to the black community and say, you know, I want to break through and have you hear a few things. Aunt wants to help somebody with their debt and financial issues, which is a huge issue that people deny. And maybe, you know, there are, every culture's got things they deny and they just move past it and they let the noise stay in, right? Chad's talking about things that people who feel disconnected, who feel like, and believe me, I've experienced it, not suicidal, but wanting to disappear. Because I didn't want to face people and say, mm -hmm. I'm risking walking away from security, but like we were talking last night, but some for some people, that security is a mediocrity we can't live with mm -hmm. Look in the mirror. So that's the emotional part of it. So you look in to go, I could play it safe. And then that's all these terminologies, but people who I work with it just look at me as if I'm a fool, because when you manifest something that you say, I want to keep playing the game and this isn't it, you start to if, honestly, energy wise, you stop, you can't stop that bus because your heart steps out of it and, and you start to, you know, and I, I wrote in our first article, I, I thought I will make it better for everybody, my parents, everyone, because it's like, you've met, you know, you've attained so much for them. And that's, that was the hard thing to break through people around me, because it was so important for that identity for people to say, you've made it, you've reached that pinnacle and not, not let, not, listen to my own voice to say that's not where you were going you're not meant to stop right and just stay idle right yeah so the next phase was i will i will create a consulting business which i still have the paperwork for that was it's gorgeous it's just gorgeous but i couldn't do two at once so i ruined both mm. looking back i mean i still ruined it mm. but then that was the greatest gift because because now I can tell people you can lose everything, and then I went in and and, and worked job and I thought, okay, nobody knows me because I'm not in that world anymore. What can I do? I did entry level jobs to learn because I couldn't walk mm. in. 
I couldn't walk in and say, I'll be a great salesperson because they said you work private industry, so you don't know our language. Mm. And then they, so I said, I got to find out how to learn that language mm. to be a salesperson. So I went in, I rose quickly through, and then I started to learn and utilize what I knew to say, and then I was attached to small businesses. And so I walked in and went, I know exactly how to take large business consulting for hundreds of thousands of dollars that people pay and put it into a package for a small business to excel mm. Mm. at a cost they can afford because I want to help them. And so, so really, so that's for me is that my, the thing is that how can I reach more people to help them? Because when that happens, then the blessings come right. in whatever form. Right. So I always, so I just, so my thing is I just look at whatever money I make keeps my living as I reach for that dream. Mm, yes. Of what, you know, does that make sense? So, yes. Uh, so my career, my background is like, that, that's just been, just think of it. I mean, my analogy would just be a stair step. And then a couple of the stairs are broken, but I broke them, mm. you know, not, not, you know, I wouldn't plan to go fail, but, and yet, but that also released me to go, I'm free of, of that world mm -hmm. where that world, where it was how you look, how you dress, how you, because that because because that was a part that I that that I thought the dream was. And now it's like, let's go. I can just be who I am. Mm -hmm. And that's part of what we were talking about. Uh, Chad and I were talking about in writing. We are showing parts of ourselves that would not be that we're just opening ourselves up for people, because I think that's there's some of that pain out there and there's some of that negativity. And that all, all all people are have are what's coming at them, right? In turn, you know. So that's my guys. That's here, I'm talking more than you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Not as beautiful. Um, like somebody said, you just made an emotional connection with so many people that are watching right now, and um, that really hit home for me. I know what it's like to take a step backward and and eat ham sandwiches while you're trying to build your business because you know that the business is going to be great. Um, somebody in the chat said, what's the future of blogs? Seems blogs are becoming irrelevant today. Well, I guess if you don't read, you would think that. <laughs> um, John Lemley, $5 Super Chat, said, please leave this up Problem. if you weren't already planning to. I'll catch a replay tomorrow morning. Good night, everybody. Take care. John Lemley's a, a college student, supports us heavily. Um, so we appreciate his energy. Mm -hmm. Let's get into the project, right? Yep. So what's the, uh, what's the link? People are asking for the link. Well, there is no link at this well, point. We're, we're still kind of uh, at the infant stages well, we have, of it. We're we all putting the, it together. But we have the domain, right? Yes, we have the domain. We have the... So can I tell you where we're at right now? Because this is... We talked to you well, about this. Give where, me the domain really fast. JeanCore.com. So JeanCore.com. For the people asking, bookmark it. It ain't out yet. Y'all are, are witnessing greatness in it's progress. It's just... <laughs> You guys, somebody asked for our website. Yay! <laughs> See how it happens. Yeah, right. And somebody said <laughs> blogs is dead. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw that. So you always right. have a hater in the room, you know. Always, it wouldn't be right if we didn't. All but right, so go ahead. My back. So I think that the the, the cool thing, um, because we've been creating it, but it just a quick outline. It's a blog that's um, that's from four perspectives, right? So. We have right now uh, about 35 to 40 different topics and the, the top three that we've just written on, but we, we're not going to share any more because we're categories, that would be right? a secret. They're right. They're categories. So the very first one we did was on risk. And so Ant wrote on financial risk. All right, Jonesy wrote me... on culture. Oh, okay. So, okay. Right? So, so, the so first... we all wrote. So, right. So this is something we're thinking the landing page, which would be free for people to see is, is to talk about, you know, to get an idea of what it is and then so we're we're all writing right now based on these topics from these four perspectives so 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 not maybe someone says i'm really satisfied with my finances but i'm really interested in culture i'm really interested in mental health there's something for everyone on these four different wide subjects right and then so that's the writing part of it and so i think you recommended it and then with timing because we're we're this is you know very organic and we're getting, obviously since we're in, you know live right now the clock is now really starting to rev up mm -hmm. but 
we um, set a target to just write, 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 build content. So when we launch, we've got nice day, you know, nice stuff coming out. Yeah. But then they, that's something that's a little bit different. We want this to be interactive with our subscribers. So we want to set the website up so people can respond, not as comments, not as like Twitter or Facebook, but we can give them specific things to say, tell us about you. Mm. And again, Mm. that'll be something that'll be a surprise for subscribers, but that's the interactive part to say, when we write about risk, when we write about social media, you know, is it social? How is it affecting you from these perspectives? Um, When we talk about um, health checks, how's your, you know, finances, how's your business, how's your job, how, you know, what's going on in your life that's affecting you, how's your mental health? Is that there's the interactive part is we are we want to bring people into the um, to what we're talking about because really we're just kind of facilitating and saying listen this is just regular people living our lives and we've got some thoughts on this stuff because we've got a, a young aunt who's just coming into this world you know into the the world of building his life because he's at the beginning stages, right? Mm-hmm. In his tw- early 20s. And he just got out of college, working for his dad's business. But he's got that experience and kind of, you know, from watching his parents have a business, working for him. And now he's trying to make his way. So from that perspective, th- that there's going to be a draw to that. And so we're going to, th- that's going to attract other people his age to, um, to participate. And then just, just, and then Jonesy and the, just all of us are not, you know, different enough. And we, we, we're also in three different time zones. So we cover a bunch of, you know, just territory, the United States. Okay. Yeah. So, so the, um, so I just lost my track of thought. Yeah. I mean, I would like to, 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 to add something, you know, I, I look at us as energy brokers. You know, mm. what we're trying to do is we're trying to take the energy that we're giving off and, and and kind of give it out to the world. And we want to hear the energy back. We want to, we want to feel the energy back. And we, what we're trying to do is we're trying to spark the brain of, of the next generation because, you know, everything's changing now. You know, you know with, with Biden coming in office, things are becoming different now. You know, we might have, you know, I don't want to get all too, too into it, but we might have lockdowns and, you know, mandatory vaccinations and you know this country's changing every day so what we're trying to do is we're trying to kind of control and get a get a pulse of what's going on in today's world and and, and kind of do what the hotel nation does you know get a bunch of people who are different that share ideas and we could kind of try to build a, another train of thought out there you know, and that, that's pretty much, you know, why I got on, you know, I wanted to make sure, you know, cause you know, I'm doing pretty well and, you know, financially and in my life, my children and, you know, everything, you know, wife, we're all doing great. Right. But I felt like there's something I want to give out to the world. Mm-hmm. And, and I feel like we're, we're all able to express that. And, you know, I might be able to help a young guy that might be going through something. Anthony might be able to help somebody who's going through something. Rita might be able to help somebody. And definitely Chad might be able to help somebody because Chad is like a Swiss army knife. He's one of these guys where, you know, you're like, hey, Chad, man, do you know how? He's like, yeah, I know how to do that. And you know, I did that back in college. You know, (laughs) he just, he always knows how to do that. I used to do that when I used to hunt crocodiles. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, you know, (laughs) you always always have some like strange skill that you never knew about. He's like, yeah, you know, back when I used to build rockets. (laughs) (laughs) You know, you're lying on on live YouTube, man. Come on. No, man, Chad, listen, bro, you're an amazing guy, man. And I I think the world needs to see that. Mm. Well, so one, one of the things I think too is, we come at this from the perspective of just regular folks. Like we, this is not some ivory tower looking down and analyzing, like, this is what I think of the human consciousness. Like I, I go back to like CS Lewis. Um, he said, I don't know what other people have in their mailboxes, but I assume because I have a mailbox and it has letters in it that they have letters in their mailboxes too. So, so like I'm coming at it, like, look, I'm just going to tell you what's in my mailbox. <laughs> and so if what's in my, if what I'm telling you, it serves a purpose for you and helps you to kind of get through what you're going through mm-hmm. and helps you to come out on the other side with, with you either taking that risk that you need to take to, to like what, what Rita was talking about, where you don't get wallowed in this mediocrity where you feel like, Oh, I'm settling for, the thing that keeps me safe and secure there's there's a and i'm look i'm doing both like right now i'm doing this 
and then I'm still keeping my day job. So I'm, I'm sure. by no means, yeah. you know, jumping off the, off the cliff. Like I told y'all last night, I got one foot firmly planted on the lily pad that I'm on. I'm not jumping with both feet just yet, but, um, uh, but it's, it's kind of wor- working through that stuff together as regular people and talking through it and understanding each other and not coming at this. Like we're, I'm not Tony Robbins. You know, like mm. I, oh, I know. this is not some like you know I'm not some multimillionaire like okay oh, hey guys uh, look at me you know it, I, I don't have a, a personal trainer that trains me you know six hours a day or something like that to be in perfect condition and all this stuff and spray tan and you know horse teeth oh, and everything man. I'm just like a regular dude so anyway. and if I if I may add that <laughs> it's like a community we're building. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we're not there to tell them what to do. Our, our, what we're writing, it's not, we're not telling them what to do. We're saying, here's how we experience this when, right. you know, exactly. something happened. Right. And so, and because I'm impacted by things I see to one big thing, um, Thaddeus Russell did an interview with um, Justin, Justin, it was all about his struggle with drugs. And he, Justin went through hell and back and back and back and back. And it was, it, it was so profound for me because he nailed something that hit me because he said, when uh, Thaddeus looked at him and said, so what happened? You know, wh- what made you keep, even though you knew that this was destroying your life? Because I just never felt I belonged and I felt really disconnected. And and I thought that's exactly, you know, what, and, and, and that's exactly what it is, is that aloneness and, and disconnection that make people, you know, get get way into your head too much. And mm-hmm. then right now where I think that we really will fit nicely in between rhetoric and all of all of the news to me starts to sound like everybody's saying the same thing. Yeah. And and so I I I'm my vision is that we're having conversations we would have like we're having now. When you mm-hmm. meet somebody at the see some sort of store, oh, I haven't seen them in two years. What's going on? How's your mom? you know what what's going on with your dad what happened to your brother oh we're stressed out about this we're stressed out about that but i think from an energy level things are are boiling up with people so Mm. it's everything's going to be to the extreme so people who feel lonely disconnected are out there Mm. and then there's a lot of people like us who say i struggled with that so i i want to be part of this Mm. let me tell you what i did I'm in Tupelo, Mississippi, and I got a group together at my church. Mm -hmm. And this is how we helped X. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're the Mm -hmm. conduit. Jean Cour is the conduit. So will people be submitting content too? Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to get them food for thoughts. Food for thought, and they're going to do the dishes. Mm -hmm. I don't like like the saying, but I haven't figured out. I stole that from (laughs) Jay-Z. Sorry. Only the black people. Sorry, ho. Rita, on the on the thing that you were saying about when you you meet some you run into somebody after you hadn't seen them in a couple of years and everything, but wouldn't you agree though that a lot of the time like you end up BSing each other? It's like, how fake. you doing? Oh, everything's good. Like you don't fake. really get real. It's fake. <laughs> yeah. like, what I think is, that, and that's where like what I was talking about, like um, with the two things I've written so far, it's like I'm either exposing myself as a lunatic or an asshole or no. like, a little bit of both or something that like that. That means it's great work. But, but I'm just like I don't care. Like come at me because like I this is I want right. I want to be able to show because I, I want to take the the sugar coating off. I want to take the gloss off, and I just want to mm-hmm. get down into the dirt, into the mud with people mm-hmm. and say like where where are you and where are we going yeah um because that's what i I think so much of what we talk about is not what really matters and that's why this is that's why i was so when y'all talk when y'all talk about this on the mogul summit weeks back that's why i wanted to to be a part of it is because i felt like um this was um apart from like my wife and my and my kid marrying my wife and having my kids this is the most important thing that i think i've ever done in my entire life and i'm not even i'm not it's not hyperbole. I'm serious. I, I'm I like, with you. you almost made me cry when you were talking earlier, Rita. And so I just, anyway, it's, uh, but remember it's that's the thing with our, dark, know, right. Because <laughs> it's kind of like a childlike thing. It's us <clears throat> who stops us and who's makes us go forward mm-hmm. because Chad, you think that was a really big thing for you to say, like the, what I wrote about making the decision to throw everything away and move forward. Can you imagine what it did mm. to my marriage? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I, you know, I, I that was like you you changed the game right in the middle where we were ready to go. Mm-hmm. I want to highlight. 
you know? I, I want to highlight some <laughs> things that are happening here for the audience at, at a psychological level. So first of all, one, you're getting to know the team. You're getting to know the team personally. And they're even giving you insight into some of the content. So what does that do? That means that when people read Chad's first piece and they read Rita's first piece and they saw this episode, they'll have a mental connection between the blog post and this episode. Not only that, here's what's great about being in front of a camera. When people read my tweets, they don't read my tweets in their voice. They read them in my voice because you know what that right. person sounds like. This is very important for people to know what you sound like. So when you read their tweets, you, get, you hear it in their voice. I know exactly how he said that when he tweeted that, right? So when people yeah. read your blog post and they see this episode, they're gonna, they already have that connection. So I just wanted to highlight something, two, two other things I wanted to highlight about how powerful this situation is and will be is looking back at my project when I had my entertainment blog and we had seven bloggers aside from myself running that site and we were getting millions of hits a month. I'm talking about unique millions. It was because we had a team. It's different when you run a blog by blog, I mean by yourself, but when you got a team, like my blog was popping at a very small level when I was just me. But when I added Vani and Cece and Tion and Kashari and Noel and Denzel, it became like not only that a, a, a great business, but a family and more than one person pushing this project and lending their mind to it. And the way I operate is like, yo, this is my baby, but y'all tell me what's up. Like I'll be, you know, a dictator when it's time, but I was very liberal in in many ways. They'll they'll probably tell you something different. And I'm having reu I'm going to have a reunion with my old blog team too, which is going to be really really cool. So you guys can hear the stories of what it was like to grow that blog. But the other thing that's happening great with this team is, other than the fact that they have the team, they have the content that they're going to have preloaded. A lot of times people are like, oh, I'm going to start a blog. They go get their logo, their pretty website, the layout. They publish it. It's out in the world, and it's like. Damn, I only got one blog on the page. So when somebody comes, they can't spend time. They read that one blog and they're like, all right, I guess I'll come back whenever the fuck, right? But when you come to a blog and it's preloaded with 20 pieces of content, let's say, you might get lost <clears throat> or you might say to yourself, you know what, this article right here, let me bookmark that one. I got to come back and read this one tomorrow or later or a week from now, right? So they're doing a lot of great things. Um, with this project. Should we move into the mode of where I come into the picture and how I lead this, help help lead this project? Yeah. Why not? All right. The first thing that I'm going to say is the blog launches tonight, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> Get that content. I know what's going. I don't, Wait, we don't have what? 20 pieces of content yet. <laughs> Uh, right, but, we're going to uh, get into the shit. details. Don't worry. I, I, I know, Mr. KPI here. Yeah. <laughs> I want four articles tomorrow. <laughs> you know, some people, um, Jay brought this up. And Jay, was funny is somebody tweeted this to me when I tweeted this out tonight. Yeah. They said, what is this, like uh, making a band? <laughs> oh, yeah. <right. laughs> so uh, this is very much like that, except I'm not signing these people as artists. I'm not making them walk for cheesecake. It's more just like, I'm the coach and this is the team and I'm going to tell them how to win from my own personal experience, but it's their baby and their ideas. So it's kind of like making a band without all the dogma and like dictatorship stuff. Right. But I am very much a dictator. Right. So um, when I say we're launching tonight, let me tell you the launch rollout plan. And some of this goes back to what Jay had said. We're having a giveaway. Right. So we're going to launch this brand with a giveaway. Now, the great thing about this is we have to collect data, something called data collection. And there's a lot of pieces of data you can collect on people. You can collect their name, uh, their vaccine uh, <laughs> status, <laughs> their These heartbeat, right? <laughs> their phone number, their email, right? <clears throat> Here, what we're looking at is probably grabbing a name and an email at the minimum, at the maximum, maybe a phone number and zip code, right? So that's all people would need to enter the contest, right? And it may be uh, 
let's say we start with just a name and an email. I think that's the safest thing to come out with. And, and the less you ask people for, the higher your conversion rates, the higher the participation rate in your giveaway. So we're going to have a giveaway. We're probably going to give away, uh, what, a PS5? Uh oh! No. <laughs> <Not one yet. laughs> nah. Where are you get a PS5 from? You have to remember, it's got four different types of personalities here. So, so do all I, personalities want a PS5? I mean, I know you guys want. No, it's not even that. It's like who, who, who are we gonna get one? Who's gonna, gonna donate say, a kidney? Well, to get knock one. over to get one. So, <laughs> so I, I brought that up on purpose because I wanted to create a lesson out of it. If we looked at the topics they're going to choose to work on. Does a gamer fit in that category? Nah. So when you create these contests, you want to keep in mind that whatever the giveaway is, is something that is going to be desirable by your target market. Mm. Desirable by your target market. This is something we might not come up with tonight. I already came up with it. Let's hear it. Give away a tablet because they got to read the blog on a tablet. Mm. Business tablet. people use tablets. Okay. Can I play devil's advocate to that? Everybody always has the tablet, but yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> it's not that. It's that a lot of spammers use the tablet thing. That's not to say that we can't still do it, right? I think what we'll do is we'll do the tablet. We'll do an Amazon gift card. And then we'll think about some other things we give away. You know, we can brainstorm in episode two or in the meantime. The tablet's a great idea. Let's execute on it. One thing I always say is uh, when you're working in teams is when someone brings up an idea and, uh, you know, I may say, you know, that's too spammy, it might not work. At the end of the day, you still got to try that shit to prove your <laughs> hypothesis, right? Mm -hmm. So I might say, you know, that's spammy and usually that doesn't work. It's like, well, Maybe it didn't work for them. That doesn't mean it won't work for us, right? So we're going to try the tablet and then we'll be able to measure, okay, what worked better, the tablet or the $100 gift card to um, Amazon, mm -hmm. right? And then we can see, yo, people really wanted a tablet or people wanted Amazon. So then in week three and week four, you can say, all right, we're just doing the tablet or we're just doing the Amazon because we did that A-B test on the, uh, on the giveaway. Bobby <clears throat> Sam Dumu said, give away crypto. That's an interesting topic. Hmm. Give away Bitcoin. Then this is for subscribers or you're just talking about the beginning with just collecting names. This is the contest emails. to collect emails for the subscriber to become subscribers. Because another idea kind of out of the box mm -hmm. is raffle off um, to the you know person who collects. Because I the other thing is to say, Hey, you come on, but bring in 10 of your friends. But the person, you know, in a week's time who brings in the most gets to pick who um, who they want to interview with Hotep Jesus, mm. right? And so mm. we're going to raffle you an interview with you. <laughs> I like it. How you're putting day. him on the spot now. This is great. He <laughs> <laughs> he's not giving us any money so we just <laughs> but because you're so popular this is just an outside the box not going to cost much except asking you know networking friends yeah but or to say uh you know a half hour with hotel jesus ask him anything you want because uh, you have a lot of followers right yeah just outside the box somebody in there somebody surprised. in the chat said that too they said yo give away your time Right. So y'all just auctioned me off like a whore. Okay. <laughs> I just came up with another idea. You word, can't believe in word. science if you don't believe in experimentation. Yeah. I just right? came up with a genius idea. What's that? This is what we need to do. Okay. We need to auction off a half an hour with Hotep Jesus to all of the people that he's blocked. And one of the people that he's oh blocked. Oh my God. To win a half an hour with Hotel Jesus. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> what, if they don't, what if they don't know about it? Because they got the Jesus <laughs> block party. Nah, he's just blocking. joking. He's just joking, Chad. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh, man. Are we, or a half hour of uh, Hotel Jesus reading the, his responses to block. You know, and that's why you're blocked. He's just, this is why. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. We do. We set up a half an hour of him reading off all of the people that he blocked. <laughs> I, like, I like the idea <laughs> of, shit. you know, 30 minutes mm -hmm. consult with Hotel Jesus live on my channel. I think that's that's really that's a really good one. 
Um, I have to think about that. <laughs> <laughs> but wait, the, the thing would be is that here, or we could use Jean Cor is to say, are there any entrepreneurs who want to spend a half hour with the Jean? That's, some advice? Yeah. And see, how, and I like yeah. that better because you get to brand yourself well as, the, as the authority. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Great right to say, right. Who, which one is Jean Cor do you need? Yeah. Is it Aunt Rita? They're all going to go for Hotep, but <laughs> that's an idea, right? To say whoever, you know, and if somebody says, if you want, you know, 50, you know, a half hour online with you to ask any questions about your job or your business, or if you want to talk to Chad, any one of us. Yeah. Yeah. That's wonderful. I mean, okay. all the ladies will want to be talking to Ant and well, three of all well, four of you guys. Right. They're like, hey, Jonesy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Look, you know what? All I got is bad advice. <laughs> That's all I got. For <laughs> Why are you gonna take care of your children? Leave them in the street. That's right. <laughs> Focus on your business. <laughs> That's right. Um, all right. So let's talk logistics, right? Um, I think we took that that giveaway idea and we put it in a space of subconscious mind. Please work on this. Uh, as far as ideation is concerned. So it's in the back of our mind, as some people would say, where the subconscious is located in in, uh, Mm -hmm. uh, hippo, not the hippocampus, whatever, hypothalamus. Um, So now we have uh, the giveaway. We're going to collect emails. We know what we're going to do with these emails. Now, the question is, what does it logistically look like for the experience now usually when somebody signs up for one of these email lists they send them to a mailchimp landing page chad you falling asleep no oh, was that was that a twitch <laughs> oh yeah my neck's killing me so oh. it's, it's all good it's, oh i thought you I was, was just on angel dust over here you were shaking yeah, like no, no, no. smoky on friday <laughs> <laughs> no, I, got, I got a pinched nerve in the back game on it's a game oh, on okay. no no um <laughs> So the problem is somebody might send them to one of these landing pages. He might even send them to like a click funnels landing page or some of what we're going to do is we're going to send them to jeancourt.com. It's going to be the first page. It's going to be jeancourt.com slash giveaway. It'll redirect as the homepage. We're going to build this on WordPress. We're going to use the Elementor plugin. One landing page, strong copy that explains the giveaway and all the details around the giveaway. So I think the homework between now and next week, right? Cause I say we're launching tonight, you know, I'm just mean, we're going to execute now, right? We're going to execute the launch, start driving traffic to the dot com, right? To build that, you know, well, you always talk about this in the mogul summit, traffic builds SEO, right? So, we're going to send it and I'll work on some of the SEO when the keywords we need to target and the description and all of that in the, and remind us in the next episode, we'll go over that. Right. JeanCord.com. That's where you tell people to go to sign up. It'll redirect to JeanCord.com slash giveaway. They'll be able to, we'll probably use a mechanism like Rafflecopter. If anybody in the chat knows something better than Rafflecopter, please chime in or comment if you're watching the replay. And embed that on the website as the mechanism. The cool thing about these tools is when a person wants to win more entries for a chance to win, they can do so by promoting the contest and promoting JeanCore.com. And that's all the free game I'm giving away tonight until next week. (laughs) JeanCore team, let's let's wrap this session up with some (laughs) Q&A. Let me read some super chats before we do and take some time to think. Halima's in the chat. Halima, I cannot express how happy I am to have you a part of my life. Halima! She is. Halima. Yo, she's the best. She is like, the I, I keep saying she's like the Mother Teresa of Africa. She is. You and know? a machine. And, and, a, yeah. and a machine, yes. Mm-hmm. Thank you very much for everything you do and helping us out here. The Selah Justice Show, $5 super chat. Thank you very much. We're going to put that to good <laughs> use. Um, Cash is Cam. I contribute to Hotex bag because Hotex contributes to my bag. God bless, fam. Cash is, we appreciate you. You're the best, homie. Thank you. Um, now, let's get into some Q&As. Thoughts, concerns as we wrap up here. So a positive for me. I don't have any concerns. <clears throat> I'm just ready to execute. I love it. Can I, can I say something on an energy level? Yes. And- 
and why I'm even part of this. I don't know exactly when, but you, I'd been following Hotep's been told you, and it, something was happening in the it, public. It was midsummer, probably June or so, <clears throat> and and you just got really upset. And for some reason, Brian, you sent out a periscope, and it was very short. And you were saying, everyone on every side is coming at me with this and that and this and that. And in, and so at the very end, you looked right in the camera and you said, change your frequency. Mm. And so on an energy level, that just made me go, change the frequency. And, and I believe in that energy. And then that made me go, what? And I think that night, I just, because I, you know, I'm not huge with Twitter or anything. I just responded to one of your Twitter and said, do you do business consulting? Because I wanted to ask you about this uh, business thing. And you said, join the summit. And so that was the journey. Mm -hmm. But I'm, but mm -hmm. as people watch and they see, there's an energy being kind of harnessed and, mm -hmm. and we're, we all have it. This is how I, what I believe. But there's just this energy of who we kind of are as our, at our core. Mm -hmm. We want to help each other mm. and kind of be of service. Mm. Can I and can, go ahead? Can I expand on that? The frequency Absolutely. part? Because you, you touched on something really important here. And I just want to explain it for people. <clears throat> uh, so back in the day, we had this thing called radio. I know some of y'all are young and <laughs> y'all didn't have radio. <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> back in the day, you had this thing called, called radio. <laughs> and you turn the dial to a certain frequency. And that frequency would give you a channel. Now, whatever you turn to, that's the download or what you would be listening to. A lot of people's frequency is tuned into like CNN or the now uh, under backlash Fox News. So it's very important that we don't tune it. We can tune into those frequencies, but the primary frequency we need to tune into is the most high or the power of God, whatever you believe in. That is the frequency we have to tune into first and foremost or more frequently. So when we see the Fox News and we see the CNN, our judgment of these channels comes from the Most High and our Most High version of ourselves and we react to it differently. When we just tune into those channels, we react based upon the frequency that those channels want us to react in. But we first have to be, be, be tuned into uh, cosmic consciousness frequency. Thank you for bringing that but, up, that's so Yeah, I important. just think you, you create that. I think we all create it. And then when that signal comes in, so I just think that's where it's like, everything's coming together, right? So you're you definitely have energy that's coming through you that's reaching out um and it's it's not just from a business point of view there's a higher power here mm. and then for all of us you know um <clears throat> chad and jonesy and you of course brian your fathers you want to make this world a place right that's safe and sane for your kids and, you know, because we can see where, like I said, I feel this big, this, tur this turbulent energy, but I also know that we exist and that energy is coming through. Yeah. And maybe the future is we, we're not separate, but we just live on a different frequency. And that's kind of what Jean Cor is, is that it's a place for people to come mm -hmm. to share and to read and to listen to interviews and to suggest things. For at a frequency that isn't, we're not going to be yelling at them. We're not going to be yeah. censoring anybody. You know, mm -hmm. it's just like, but the way we're talking, like I just say, regular people having a conversation, safe, um, but not mm -hmm. a rhetorical. I, I, I just that yeah. word bothers me because people say, let's have a conversation. But I, but when I, like I said, I, I talk to a neighbor or something. You know, the first thing is you worried. You know, oh, it's crazy about the mask and the curfew. You know, you're talking about, but then you start talking to each other about normal stuff, mm. like how you guys holding up. Your husband got furloughed. Though that's terrifying for people, yeah. mm -hmm. and it's just we can't solve it, but we can acknowledge it, mm. and you know, and then be grateful we're here, and to say that we get it, we get it. Everybody is in a weird place. We've got five of us because Brian, you're included in Jean Cor, but we've got five of us who can be a conduit to that energy that says, yeah, we get it, you're upset, we're upset too,
but you know, come and talk to us. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's Definitely a cacophony is. versus a symphony type of energy. Like we're, we're there's so much of the world that is like singing out of tune, singing the wrong songs, singing all this. This there's this cacophonous <laughs> sort of like clanging of pots and shit that and and it can all like if we if we're if we helped it because the thing is oh, we're all united uh, could, 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 could confidence not. you using all these white man terms that's way above yeah. my IQ <laughs> yeah, yeah man, man listen so. it's, 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 I don't know what that means so I'm gonna take it as disrespect <laughs> watch your mouth <laughs> okay I don't talk great like but, but no, you know what's amazing about that if I could just interrupt the chat for one second I I had music is really my passion mm. and I trained um, in music so so being in a choir singing and the the amazing thing when you mentioned symphony is what's what I always think about managers is like a director is back is to the audience for the entire song mm. but a director chooses the song and and hears it in his or her head yeah and then directs the choir and the audience hears the choir sing. And it's like, I'm just thinking about that is that um, the subscribers and the people that we, who engage with us, they're the symphony. And we're kind of like just directing it mm-hmm. in yes. different ways. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I just think that's amazing you mentioned that. And yeah. I'm gonna win for talking more than Chad. So I will, <laughs> I will we gotta make time. sure that we save the world, man. So, so uh, if I can if I can finish finish my point real quick. Yeah. Uh, sorry, you, you, you ended so, at cacophony. Yeah, well no, so I was <laughs> what I was trying to say is we're all we are all united anyway, mm-hmm. whether we whether we recognize and understand that or not. And so as soon as we start acting like it. Mm. that's when we actually get to fulfill our destiny why we are here and we we get to make that symphony instead of us wondering why the hell none of the shit works that we're trying we're not we're not trying the right things and we're not trying it together and and that's that's what that's what i'm here for listen man i'm just thinking back to when the aliens came to new jersey (laughs) right and when the aliens came to new jersey they took one good look down at newark (laughs) And they said, God damn it, we're not staying here. We got to get the fuck out of here. This planet is fucked up. Excuse my language. We got to save the world. Me and Hotep saw it, man. We saw mm-hmm. him. I seen it. They, we, Hotep, did you see it? I seen it. I the seen aliens it. looked down lying. at us and they said, God damn it, we are not getting out. Baby, lock the doors and leave. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. We got to oh save the God. world, baby. We got to save the world. And you um, muted over there or something? <laughs> Come on, Aunt. Aunt, say something. Poor Aunt. <laughs> nah, it's all good. It's Strong, all quiet good. type. It's yeah. all good. I mean, I think we're just, you know, a bunch of regular people who could relate to pretty much everybody. I think in the mm. world we live in today with all the, the media and propaganda and all that, they really, I mean, obviously we all know that they try to split us up, but I think people no matter what they look like got more in common Mm -hmm. um than we do with differences so if we can just you know share that with everybody everybody out there is dealing with some type of problem whether you got a billion dollars or you got negative billion dollars you know what i'm saying so if one of us can reach out and you know make a connection with a random stranger it might be able to affect their life and that's all we're trying to do here we're just regular people talking about regular things yeah, so one, some, something I wanted to highlight is, you know, I just want people to notice we didn't talk about brand colors and logo. And a lot of people, when they launch a brand, that's the first, oh, what's the logo? And that's just ego. You know, a lot of what we talked about was who we are so people can connect with the the essence of the of the of the content. Right. And that's more important. You know, um, we, we didn't have this Hotep Nation logo for a very long time. This is actually rather new within the past two years or so. But before that, we were just rocking with like Helvetica fought at said Hotep Nation, right? <laughs> None of that matters. You got to know who you are and what your product is before you make it pretty. It's like trying to put a five piece suit on a, 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 a three piece suit on a bum and send them into a, 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 a meeting with Wall Street. It's not going to work. You know, you, it, you better off sending them in there looking like a hood dude, but with the know how. So when he opens his mouth, people go, whoa, we didn't expect that, right? So we work on the internal workings of the product before the exterior. The exterior is just going to accentuate the greatness of your product. Um, Let me read some super chats here and then we'll- uh... We're still getting super chats. Yeah, Susan Davis, 
Uh, I'm getting some super chats. Correction, Rita. <laughs> Whoa, she sp- starts speaking French. <laughs> I have been silenced. I have been silenced. That is so funny. The dictator has revealed himself. I, All right, go ahead, read it, Mussolini. <laughs> I thought it was a team captain in this one, but not, well, not above, though, of Jean Court. Anyway. Yeah, Boom. Jean Court. Not, not, not this I know the though. super chats there for you and your um, <laughs> foundation, but I, I, I'm in nah, a team. No, it, it's, it's to keep them bomb ass graphics up, man. I remember when he first got them. I, I, yo, I had to text him. I said, God damn, you done stepped your game up, man. Yeah, you we got re- the HBO looking shit up there now, yeah, man. We still got to recoup the expenses on this streaming machine. Hell yeah. <laughs> Um, Susan Davis said, always good vibes. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Appreciate you. Brody McFarland said, this is what Hotep and Bill means. I love you guys, fan. Love you too, Brody. Yeah, love you, Brody. Love you, Brody. Oh, man, yeah, Brody. He's in the, Go Raiders. Um, he's in a Mogul Summit too, and we have a great time on Saturdays. Um, yeah, this is exactly what it's about, Hotep and Bill, man. You know, a lot of things happen in the world, but we have to understand that the things that are happening to us in the world are happening by builders, and those builders just happen to be corrupt. So we need some benevolent and full of love type builders. And that's what we do over here at Hotep Nation. Mm-hmm. Any closing thoughts, guys? No, nah, just looking forward to getting the work done. So gratitude. yeah. Looking so forward to gratitude, gratitude. Thank you for gratitude. doing this. Thank yeah. you for doing this. So, all right, we're going to talk. Uh, it's not really KPIs, but I guess um, uh, ex- uh, um, ex- uh, uh Action items. Thank you. Yeah. Some action items. Um, we need to get the landing page up. Um, Somebody taking notes? Because I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I am. Yeah, and I, okay. I, I, I'm taking them. And, and so, thanks, Tim. Landing page got to get up. Um, somebody's got to get the copy for the uh giveaway rules and so forth i just suggest looking at previous giveaways and just copying pasting some of the best of the rules and how they operate like is this in us is this not you know age you know all those specifics of uh you know who's eligible for this and the specifics of how the contest is going to be operating and making that as simple as possible um also choosing an email platform to embed whether it's mailchimp or something else let's get that locked in um you're going to be under 2,000 subscribers anyway so anything you choose is going to be free um and then we'll uh get that embedded on the landing page so i think uh for episode two what we need to have done and to analyze we'll probably go over is the landing page next monday and uh tighten that up tighten up the seo um and then um getting this thing uh rolling after that so uh kpis um would be how fast you get how fast you get to work done i guess there's <laughs> no no traffic coming in you know we can probably set some kpis next week though as far as how many uh email signups so email signups would be our uh metric to track next week great show tonight man i, I really enjoyed it i think the 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 future show is gonna be quite different because we spent a lot of time introducing the personalities so next week is just going to be you know in the, in the, in the future episodes it's going to be all business right yep wonderful awesome thank you so much thank you everyone for listening and watching and i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here uh jean core team please stay on the line so we can um do our thing uh jonathan marcus thank you for the 499 super chat uh another guy uh the nick or man said uh You've been on JRE and Tim Cast in real life, yet your channel is still working. <laughs> yeah, uh, we have a, a little bit of Hotep magic over here. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching, uh, people. Subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll see you next time. Peace out. is still working (laughs) yeah uh we have a, a little bit of hotep magic over here